What is going on everybody? This is 86 here and I just want to talk a little bit about Torchlight Infinite. I have been playing this game um, since the new season drop. I've actually been playing it since the game actually launched. So I've been playing it for a while. This game is probably one of the better ARPGs in the market right now despite some of its flaws such as being pay to win i know a lot of people frown on that but i feel like the pay to win aspects in this game are so minuscule that they hardly even affect the gameplay and i really am just completely enjoying the game and having a lot of fun playing it having a lot of fun leveling characters trying out builds messing around in the end game they've added some new stuff this season as well as you can pretty sure you can like um, um, craft on legendaries now which is pretty cool sorry my AC is loud it's pretty hot so I still got that going I'm not gonna turn it off right now it's just far too hot today to do that yeah I've been playing quite a bit of Torchlight Infinite having a lot of fun with it um, probably one of my favorite games right now uh, I think I have more fun playing this game than I have playing Diablo 4 or Last Epoch recently. Um, so this is the in-game system. This is kind of like the Atlas like you'd see in Path of Exile. These are like different regions. Um, you can like select a region. They all have their own boss. Um, you complete um, these maps in the region. Um, they all have these kind of cards that add like different traits and bonuses. Um, you go ahead and select one and open that you just run it like a regular map blast through it kill the boss at the end Not yet. you get some loot upgrade your character kill a certain amount of bosses you fight the boss in the area then you upgrade the um, level of the area eventually and fight harder monsters in the area at least i'm pretty sure it still works that way i'm not but that's essentially how the end game works eventually you make it to you know a harder you know bigger, badder, pinnacle style bosses. Um, they have like league type mechanics. This one is the clockwork one. Actually, I think I missed it. It was at the beginning of the map. Um, a clockwork like um, thing that's like a time trial through the map where you like fight um, mobs. I'll show you guys in the next map. I run. But um, yeah, I'm just loving the game. I'm loving the character customization. I'm loving the way you build the characters. Um, leveling is kind of the only part that's really boring, but Luckily, leveling doesn't really last too long in this game. Uh, the campaign is pretty quick. You can blow through it really easily, just a couple hours. Probably less than that if you're really good. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of this game. It's something I just started playing, um, you know, when I had like some downtime at work. I decided to check it out. But um, it's um, slowly evolving to something that I'm going to be playing at home on my main PC. And I'm really just enjoying it a lot. And it's becoming secondary game to, you know, when I want to take a break from Elden Ring. So this is kind of the game I've been jumping into because it's really easy to just jump in and blast a few maps. And it's overall a really fun experience. And I think they made, uh, got the really good fundamentals of the RAP, RAPG down. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing through this game. I don't think this will be my only character this league. I'll probably be making quite a few see we have the main boss here on this one we'll go ahead and fight him real quick just so you guys can kind of see what that's like Not so yet. go to his little boss arena this is the hellfire chasm a little video for him where it pops out a little animation thingy kind of cool. Not really too big of a deal it's nice to have it there and fight the boss Bosses pretty low level, so he's not too bad. But they, some of the bosses do get significantly harder and make it fun in the challenge. Just him pretty quickly. That's pretty much what you do. There are other in-game, um, like, league-type mechanics that have persisted from other leagues as well. 
that you can interact with which add um, more complexity and depth to the maps add other things to do as well which is quite a bit of fun um, this that has like an auction house uh, I, don't, I don't really interact with the pay to win elements the pay, most more pay to win element is the pack spirits which are like, these little gotcha pets you can buy which they have their own points um, which you can put into some of them can be pretty powerful but I think the game is kind of balanced in a way to where they're not really a necessity they're kind of just something that boosts your power um, I mean, we'll see how that is when we get into the late day game. If it's like, I think I have some pretty good pack spirits that I got from actually free pulls. So I actually have some legendary pack spirits, so that's pretty lucky on my part. But uh, anybody who's kind of looking for an ARPG just to play while you're waiting for, you know, Path of Exile's new league or you just want something to play in your downtime, I really just recommend checking this game out. If you're on the fence about it, don't be. Um, you don't have to spend the dime in this game to play it and have fun. It, it's just not necessary at all. So to call it pay to win, I mean, that's, I don't, I mean, it's pay for, I, I just don't feel like it's pay to win. It's pay for gotcha and bullshit. And maybe it's slightly pay to win if you get some, can get some really good pack spirits, but I just don't see it. I'm going to keep playing the game. I'm going to recommend it to you guys, my followers, my viewers, because um, I think it's a good game. I don't recommend spending money in it. I mean, that's your own prerogative. You know, if you like the game, feel free to spend money in it. You know, if you got the money to blow, that's up to you. I spent a little bit of money in it just because I personally enjoy the game. So, I mean, when I enjoy a game, I don't mind supporting it. Um, I haven't spent money on pack spirits. I just buy, like, the season passes or the new characters that come out. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a good game. Awesome leveling. Well, actually, leveling's kind of boring. But the end game, the end game really shines in this game. It's just fun to jump into these maps, blast them. They've got the good point you know, where it just feels good to build your character. You feel like getting stronger. You got a little DPS meter on your, on your, um, right down there next to the experience bar, which feels good to see that go up. Um, watching numbers go up feels good. Getting better gear, getting shiny items, feels good. Um, so they've just got, really got the good formula down. It feels really nice to play. And I'm just going to keep pushing through. I'm playing. I really enjoy this Chain Lightning Yoga build I'm playing. Maybe I'll do a build guide for it in the future when I actually feel like I have it sorted out on what I'm actually doing. But um, yeah, other than that, just chilling been playing this in my downtime. I've been working a lot lately, so it's a cool game. I can kind of play on work when I have some free time. I've been working a lot lately, like 50 plus hours a week lately. And this week's not going to be any different, so... Yeah, but it's good. Need the money. Summer's expensive. Got the kiddos home. Hopefully everybody's doing well, though. Membership fee is non refundable, um, and we reserve the right of your position. New season mechanic, position. clockwork, and sure ballet. Remember the terms of your membership. Kind of select a bonus here in the beginning. Um, immediately, again, cogwheel voucher. Oh, we'll just go with the remaining time, I suppose. I don't really know what much we're to do yet. But then you get these like little cog things uh, throughout your map that you can like enemies will spawn around if they're fighting and you get additional time to make it toward the end cog where you get to you, um, activate it and then you'll get a bunch of loot um, I think kind of like based on the time it took you to reach there which is kind of nice so it's kind of like a time attack mode thingy which is kind of cool this adds a little bit of bonus to the map a little bit more stuff to do and a little bit more loot which is never a bad thing more enemies, more loot, more XP so yeah, if you're looking for something to play, highly recommend this game. Give it a try. At least, you know, get one character up for the in-game see how you feel about it then. You don't have to spend a dime. It's completely free. You don't really have nothing to lose. Courageous. Except for some download time, maybe some internet data. If you're downloading it over mobile, don't do that. Don't. don't. 
Don't recommend that. Do it over Wi-Fi. It's much faster. Still got a minute 13 to reach the cog. You, you seems like the timeline is pretty generous. I mean, you don't really have to rush for it. But it feels good to kind of have like that time pressure as well. You feel like you uh, need to rush through a little bit. Just get better rewards. So this is the end thing, you can just activate it, please assess rating C, so you get a rating and you get some loot based on your rating. Go ahead and kill this boss, bam, I'm just going to really keep pushing through, probably going to do a build on the new character that was the new um, variant that was introduced for Carino as well, I was playing around with that class a little bit because I bought the season pass, so I ended up unlocking that class. But Yuga is kind of my go-to class in this game. I really like Chain Lightning in usually most games. So this is what I decided to play. Um, but I'll probably be playing a build on that character as well. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, hit that like button and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. just want to do a quick video about this game. Because I really find it to be an amazing game. It's kind of underappreciated. And people shit on it because it has microtransactions. Which... Fucking every game pretty much has microtransactions almost, except for like Elden Ring. <laughs> so, I mean, people shitting on that. It's just, I get it, but you can't stop yourself from having fun because of shit like that nowadays. Try it out, you'll enjoy it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay cool. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.